Hey, let's play and welcome back to more Rise of the Tomb Raider with me here at the Column. In the last video, we killed a whole shit ton of deathless ones. I'm just gonna look around here real quick to pick up some uh, some stuff that we might have missed. Probably should have done that off camera, but you know we could use some equipments here. Yeah, they definitely carry pretty much everything on their on their bodies. So that's kind of cool. Doesn't make sense, but it's cool nonetheless. Uh, probably could have used a whole bunch of this like fire to kill them, but you know I wanted to be. Badass, kill him with my bare hands. And that's exactly what we did. It looks like we got everything, so let's continue on through this place. Let's see what we got in store for us. So it looks like I thought for sure we were gonna have to face like some giant, deathless one, but apparently not. So Trinity has twice before sent great men seeking the prophet's path, and twice before they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place. To retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. I don't think you survived that battle, bud. Just, just a thought. Oh, we got something up here too. Let me just find everything. This is hmm, particularly odd. It has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a. No, n not possible. It looks like a, a dude with eyeball nipples, I guess. <laughs> it does, if you looked at that close enough. It's pretty creepy looking. Uh, I got something high enough here as well. Oh yeah, more, more notes. General, we observed something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Gatesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the pass on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. Demons. No, John, you are the demons. Uh, I might as well craft some arrows. Oh, we have full arrows? That doesn't make any sense. I guess I'm going to use a whole bunch of uh, explosion, exploding arrows last, uh, last video. Which means I gotta find some more of that exploding stuff to build some more, because they, they definitely worked on those, uh, those dickwads. That's where I came from, right? Yeah. So I guess that's if you want to go back and try to collect things, that's what that's there for. And uh, we'll make our way through this icy chasm. Breaking in, find a way into the Lost City of Katesh. Oh, that looks like a, a death trap. Can I grab the thing from here? Is it Y or is it X? It's Y. No, it's X, isn't it? Whatever. Y. X. <laughs> it's definitely X. It's not Y. I don't know why I pressed Y. X. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Idiot. Through the wood. Yep. That was obvious. That's gotta hurt. Whoa. That's creepy. Just, but I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't see that. Then I'm gonna go back here and grab some mushrooms. I don't have full mushrooms, apparently. I guess the next best thing I could do with my bow and arrow is to use uh, poison. That should work. Melt and ass ice. That's fine, I'm already in here. Alright, girl. See you there, too. Uh, what is this? More mushrooms. I don't need mushrooms. 
I like how there's mushrooms are able to grow in the, this frozen tundra. That makes sense. The chamber of souls. The divine source has to be there. Looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. If you say so. I see a campfire over here and more notes over here. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the prophet's people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. The Mongol and the prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet, their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. The Trinity apparently is Mongolian? I'm so confused. Why would they be writing in Mongolian but speaking in English? <laughs> Uh, oh, skill point, sweet, beautiful. Mortal being to be like the Jacobs. Human. Oh, don't fall in love, girl. Do not fall in love with that Jacob. Crafting master, cat flowers, crafty animals, resources, napalm arrows, napalm arrows. Gotta go with the napalm arrows. I don't care about Jacob. Jacob is a conniver. Oh, there we go. Seven napalm arrows. That should be fun. All right, so let's get into Katesh. Or try to get into Katesh, I should say. I have a feeling like I'll light that on fire. Probably. Pick up some wood while I'm at it. Uh, this is fucking cool looking, eh? This little tiny city. Got to stay out of sight. All right, well, the devil's patrolling the streets. I'm not going in the streets. Simple as that. <laughs> Walk on the top. Seems pretty simple to figure out my way. You know, I could swing right here. And whoop, you don't see me. Grab this while I'm at it. Not, definitely not going down there. I don't know why they wouldn't have someone like, you know, a scout on top of the roof, but I'm not complaining. I'm sure there's a bunch of things I could unlock on the bottom in the streets and whatever, but uh, I'll come back to that. Oh, ball sack. Oh, ball sack. Why put down a thing? You can use the trips to destroy the gates. No, I guess I'm going this way then. Ah, uh, why are you guys always here to attack me? You're not even strong. You're getting beat up by a little girl. Then again, everyone's getting beat up by a little girl, so Laura's pretty badass. So I can't complain. There's a piece of flint in the pouch. It's a striker to start a fire. Each Mongol soldier had to be self-sufficient. They are so badass. In the middle of a fight, she's able to look at freaking pretty things in, in cases. <laughs> Shortcut. Whee! Bet you didn't see that one coming. Idiots. Uh, not sure how I'm supposed to get up there. But I'm assuming, you know, the higher I get, the better. So... Just cut this bell. Thank you. <laughs> For who the bell tolls? Every time. Uh, can I make this? Yeah. Can you make that? Come on, Laura. Get up. Where's the trebuchet at? Uh, over there. Okay. Almost there. Uh, okay. Trebuchet made uh, famous by the French, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the catapult. Uh, 
How the fuck do I get up there? Can I climb this ice? Probably not. Nope. Only certain ices you can climb. Uh, I'm gonna take care of this guy, because he's a pain in my ass right now. Fire arrows at me. Son of a bitch. Get rock, son. Don't fall off, please. Thank you. Damn fire. Okay, obviously I gotta climb up here, so... There. There. Ow. Punk. Alright. Oh, no! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, son of a tit. Heal yourself. Heal yourself, Laura. Thank you. Oh, I got two of these guys to deal with now, eh? Took care of your buddy first. And apparently, your buddy took care of you in the process, so that worked out well. Full on everything. How did I get up here in the first place? I'm confused. I'm gonna jump up a wall. Is it from here? It's from here. Okay. Alright, you know, you know what, bud? You're starting to piss me off, so... You get fucked in the face. You too. Get the hell out of here. Now I got time to, like, you know, sit here and actually do what I want to do. Oh, I got two arrows in here. Interesting. Thank you. Fire one right there. And the jump. I'm assuming I'm going straight up. No? Shitty, shitty dick nipples. Come on now. Why am I having trouble with this? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Do I jump over there? That looks like a pretty flat area to me, so I'm going to assume that's where I go. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom, yeah. Make the jump. Ah, damn it, Laura. Alright. Up at the trebuchet, finally. Only took about seven years to get here. Hey, you want to go, buddy? Boom. Get the fuck out of here. You too. Ow, bud. You be Motherfucker, you lit on fire and you still attacking me? Crazy asshole. Okay, you know what? Enough of you. Dick rider. <laughs> Just going all out vulgar in this episode. This shit I've been saying. Alright, music's done, which means uh, battle's done. Everybody be dead. Ow, oh, how in the F do I use this thing? That's a, that's a good question. This is where I'm supposed to be, right? Yeah, up there. Uh, how do I get up there? That's an even better question. Gotta get up there. Can't go through there. Oh, oh, oh. I see. I see. Uh, exploding arrows? Is that what I need? Oh, yeah. That's what I needed. Get fucked? Okay, let's get in here. Maybe this is not where I was meant to go. Oh, for whom the bell tolls. Find all the bells. Anything else in here that I... Oh, what is this? Wait, what is that? Why is that glowing? What? Supposed to shoot it? No? It's weird. Maybe it's just a side effect of the bell being there. I'm just gonna assume that's what that's all about. A woman's necklace made of Baltic amber. <sighs> Incredible craftsmanship. It must have belonged to a noble woman. You're a noble woman. <laughs> Make it sound like a, a diss. Well, this isn't the right way because this is bringing us back down. So uh, let's get back in there. Oh, I could go up. Perhaps. No. Uh, it looks like you could go up there. There's a walk path and everything, but I guess not. Unless I could use this to jump up. No? Okay. Oh, no! Okay, good. I didn't die. That's what matters right now. Come on to this. How in the bloody tits? Oh, right here. This is white, right? The toy! Uh, always look for the white shit, Andrew. That's all you gotta do. I can use this to aim the trebuchet. Trebuchet? Trebuchet? Whatever. I thought I was saying it right. Apparently, Laura says it right. Alright. 
the fuck was that? <laughs> what the shit is hitting me? Who... Who in the, the bloody tits is firing arrows at me? I don't even see him on the map. Oh my god, where are these arrows coming from? Yeah, you, you're starting to piss me off. Wherever you are, as you're miraculous aiming every time I touch this thing. Let's see if I stand out here, if I can see him. There is nobody around here. Looks like I can line up a shot on that gate. So, you know, unless there's someone above me? Nope. Uh, is the game glitched? What in the bloody f Is it coming from over there? Let me see. I'm gonna go over there. No. I'm just gonna get killed. You know. Maybe that will fix it. Oh my god. What the hell is hitting me? Just kill me already. Die. <sighs> Rotate it. No. Yeah, I, w I would love to aim it if, you know, I wasn't getting shot with an arrow every five seconds, Lara. So I'm just going to jump to my death. Or not. Alright, everyone dead. There we go. Okay, so I just went back down and came back up and apparently there was people down there. They just magically appeared. Kaboom! That should be perfect. Maybe a bit too high, but I think it's good. Woo what a shot! That did it. It did did it. It did did it. <laughs> how did how did I not grab that that rope? <laughs> oh skills! That should be an achievement. At least I remember looking it up. It was an achievement to manually switch from rope to rope. Apparently, I didn't unlock, or maybe I already gotten it. You know, I've been playing this game for a while, so it's a big possibility that I already unlocked it. So now I can run around and look for things, like coins and everything, but uh, we'll do that off camera. So I don't bore you guys to death. Speaking of which, this video is almost over anyways, time limit wise. So, give me some more of these exploding things so I can make more exploding arrows. Thank you very much. Thank you, please. And we are in Katesh, I think, I would assume. The Citadel Plaza. So in the next video, guys, we will explore the Citadel Plaza. You. I almost lost you, Lara. Yet you fought back, determined to live, breathe, ball your tiny fists and scream the hospital down. It was the best noise I ever heard. When I went home that snowy night, I cooked myself a steak. Then I drank half a bottle of whiskey, tried to make snowshoes out of tennis rackets, and fell asleep with the cat. I was so damn happy. I think I must have heard that story about a dozen times, and I could hear it a dozen more. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, of course, you can watch more great videos over on the side of this video here, just by clicking on them if you're on the computer, if you're on uh, mobile, then... No luck for you because annotations don't work. But I thank you for watching. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go to www.patreon.com slash true they call me and uh, give a donation. If you don't have any money, now you can do something else. You can waste your time by going to givetad.com slash true they call me, downloading that app, and you can watch some ads for me, which will give me pennies to the dollar. But it's worth it, you know? If you don't have the money to spend, might as well waste some time and uh, help out one of your favorite YouTubers. If you feel like following me anywhere else, facebook.com slash Twitter.com slash and I will catch you on the next video, guys. Peace!